Hello, it's Tristan here from Zebra Invest, and today I'm just running through asbestos testing. So whenever you're looking at doing a project, getting in and refurbishing it, you need to make sure that there isn't any asbestos or anything hazardous for your trades or anyone else who's working in the building might get contaminated or damaged with it. One of the main ways people tend to do this is you tend to get an asbestos engineer to come in and take a look around the property. Um, they will be able to do a test, they can send off those samples and provide a report to you. So with this project on Essex Street, it's been last refurbished probably in about the 1960s or 70s. And as we know, around about that time, a lot of properties were having asbestos used. They tend to use it in floor tiles, not that I've got any here, they used it in the ceilings and all over around the property. And the reason being was it was an incredibly durable product that was very easy to use. But the downside of it, as we now all know, is asbestos and the little bit of fibers that come off it can end up in your, uh, end up in your lungs and then it can cause real damage to you. So if you are thinking about refurbishing a product, property, it's well worth making sure you get it tested. So in our house, when we walk around this place, one of the bits that we could see that's a little bit different, we've got a few plasterboard plain flat ceilings, which are fairly obvious and unlikely, I think is the answer, to have asbestos in them. But one of the bits that you tend to get in a lot of older houses is Artex. And with Artex, that's when it's got, usually got a stippled effect or a little bit of a special design on it. So what I'll do is I'll flip you around and I'll show you that. So you can see that here just across the ceiling and you can see just where it's got all this stipple effect running across it. And that's an absolute prime example of what it would look like. You then come through into the kitchen and again someone else has also thought the spiral shape is a great shape. And again, this is Artex, but Artex can carry asbestos. So before you start cutting into it or you get your plumber or your engineer or anyone else to go through it, it's well worth making sure that you've got it checked. And again, here, sometimes you can see it's got a bit of a stippled effect. The trouble with asbestos is it's quite expensive to have a surveyor come out, go through it, take a sample, or provide a full report for you and run through it all. But I've actually reached out to a company called Asbestos Testing UK, or that's their website, they're actually run by Artisan Environmental, and they've provided us with a stealth pack that you can take it at home, get yourself all covered up, it's got all of your FPE, all your masks, everything else, get yourself all protected. So the idea is, I'm going to go through, do all these, get all these little um, sections all tested and checked, so that way we can make sure that we can get the asbestos, if it needs to be done, anything needs to be done with it, we can check what we're going to do with it. The other side that can happen as well is when you've got a property and if you are looking to use it as say for example an Airbnb, an HMO or rent the property out and um, there's lenders out there like Hampshire Trust Bank who are really interested and they want to know exactly what's in the building and how you're managing it and so by having a report or having checked it before you've done your refurbishment you've managed to keep yourself compliant. So it came straight in the post, just a nice little blue bag with everything inside that we need. I'm just going to open it up and show you what's inside it. So as you can see, it's quite a comprehensive pack. We've got a whole suit to be able to put on, put around us. We've got masks here, FP3 masks to be able to put on. We've got special wipes to be able to wash our hands and gloves to make sure that it's not getting anywhere near us, near us and we're not getting contaminated. We've also got packs here for us to be able to send our samples off. There's a few more sample bags in there as well to be able to send off as well. And then here we've got the asbestos testing kit and it's got a guide to run you through what you need to do to be able to get yourself prepared, to run through it all, what's come with the pack, how we need to take the sample, what size of sample they need, um, how you're going to get the result and what to look out for. And as I've just gone through here, the main bits on the and ceiling are textured ceilings, so Artex textured coatings on there as well. You can also, for asbestos, you can have roof tiles that are made up with it, but it's quite a useful little guide that goes through all the detail that you need there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at that and then I'm going to show you a video later, me running through how I've done the samples. And then if you fancy using it and heading over to Artisan Environmental or over to their Asbestos Testing UK website, you can. I'll drop the link in the below for that. So first things first, let's get the PPE equipment on that was provided with the pack. So here we've got a jumpsuit just to stick straight on, which just zips up nicely, fits nice and comfortable. It's surprisingly warm, which for the middle of summer, not necessarily ideal, but hey, there we go. We've got a little cap so we go over the top and hide our lovely little hair. I'm sure we look great. And then we've got a mask and gloves. I'll just get those on. 
So now we've got all the equipment on and we can head on inside. When you're on their website, if you do want to choose however many different samples you've got. So in my properties, you've seen as we've walked through, we've got four different ceilings where we believe we've got asbestos. So what we're going to do is use four different sample kits and send it off to them in the post. I'll head inside now and show you how that works. One of the best bits to do once you do go inside, just make sure that you do have the space that you're looking to work in are clear. Um, with it, there does come a nice little dust sheet, so you can put that down on the floor to make sure that anything that's out in there and the asbestos doesn't spread anywhere else. It's also a good idea to dampen the ceiling with a little bit of soap, a little bit of water in it, just to make sure that if there are any flakes and anything else that comes off around it, then you haven't had to spread that or breathe it in or spread it anywhere else in the property. So I'm going to head inside now and I'm going to show you exactly what I do and get these samples. When you're looking to get a sample, the best idea is to use a chisel. You want to be getting roughly 20, square, um, 20 centimetres of uh, asbestos off the wall into your sample. The other thing you can do as well is use something like a bathroom cleaner spray. Ideally one that's run out, completely run out. Put it just with some water in it just to kind of make it a little bit moist up there so that when the rest of the fibres aren't going to be in the air afterwards. You're then going to have at the same time, you'll have your pouch ready to go to get up there and get testing it. So here we go, I'm going to be testing this section on the wall here. It's neatly hidden in the corner. Get my little bag at the ready and I'm just going to be holding it near and below my chisel. Trying to capture any of the asbestos that you've got as it's coming off. Now simply take your samples and what you're going to do is you're going to label each of them up, so from each room. So this room was from my first room, this is from my kitchen, and this is from the hall to the bathroom. So this is item one, two, three. So we're going to write all of those so they've got a number on them and then we know where they've come from. Then each of them needs to be double bagged. So here we've got a second bag to put on each of them. And then any of the equipment that you've used or touched, just make sure that you've wiped it all down with the alcohol-free um, samples and they will have to be bagged up and sent away afterwards. And I've just simply written down where I've got my sample from, which it was, what type of thing it was, just to match up with the template. And you can see I've now bagged it up in a whole load of bags. So it's all kind of ready to go straight in the post. And they've got a little bag that I can stick it straight into. It's all prepaid, so it was ready to go straight away. And then what I've also done is, you would have seen in, well, part of the video, I put down the plastic sheet on the ground. So then anything that fell down or came off or when I was, you know, using the tool just to... Um, get the asbestos out that's all now in the bag ready to get binned i've also put in the jacket the over uh, over top and any of the ppe stuff as well and what i've also just done on the inside of the property um, i'll just show you um, but anywhere where it was as well just in case there was any other specs the best way to try and look after asbestos or try and make sure it doesn't go anywhere else is make it damp and then kind of sweep it all up so i've gone over the hold up with a wet cloth whilst wearing my mask to make sure it's all clear and ready to go so the next bit is um, i'm going to pop this all in the bag and so it's then ready to send off to asbestos testing uk or artisan environmental they'll get it all tested um, and they'll come back to me with the responses by email to tell me whether i've got asbestos in them and for the final part simply posting it sending it all off and on its way back to artisan environmental at asbestos testing uk what I'm trying to, I'm hoping to, and the reason we've also tested this as well, is we would quite like to sand those ceilings. So if we can get away with it and we can sand those ceilings smooth, I'll tell you about that later. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, you've found it useful, you've learned a little bit about asbestos testing and you've seen me look like a plonker. Hope you like it and subscribe to my channel. Cheers guys, bye!